Let's talk about the T's exam or the T7 exam. And what I have for you here is a math challenge that you should be able to answer if you are fully prepared for this exam. And if you're not familiar with the T's exam, it is uh, a test, one of a few different tests that you can take to get into nursing school. All right, so you definitely need to know math to do well on the T's exam. And you definitely need to understand dosage questions. All right, so of course, this is something that goes uh, to the heart of being a nurse. So let's take a look at this uh, example problem and see if you can figure it out. All right, so a doctor orders 1.5 grams of medication for a patient. The tablets available are labeled 250 milligrams each. How many tablets should be administered to the patient? All right, now we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is four, B is five, C is six, and D is seven. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this type of problem on the T's exam. And if you need additional help uh, for the T's exams, uh, specifically the math section, make sure to check out my full main website. That's tcmathacademy.com. If you go there, you'll uh, find a T's math prep course. Matter of fact, I'll leave a direct uh, link to it in the description of this video that will really, really help you out to be fully prepared for all the math that you will see on the T's exam. Okay, so once again, a doctor orders 1.5 grams of medication for a patient. The tablets available are 250 milligrams each. How many tablets should be administered? All right, so the correct answer here is C, six tablets. Now, if you got this right, that is fantastic. But uh, remember, there is a lot of math that you need to know on the T's exam to include algebra and geometry. But again, if you understood this basic dosage question, that is fantastic. Now, what is the key to answering this question? Well, the key is to understand that we're dealing with different units of measure. So we have grams right here and milligrams, right? So the doctor wants this patient to have 1.5 grams of medication but uh, you can only use these tablets that are available at uh, 250 milligrams each. So we need to figure out how many tablets to give this patient in order to get the medication level at 1.5 grams. Of course, the correct answer is six, but let's talk about why this is the case. Okay, so here's my little illustration of a patient that's uh, not feeling too well. So the doctor says, hey, you need uh, 1.5 grams of this particular medication. Okay, so that's fantastic. And you need to figure out how many 250 milligrams, how many of these tablets that are 250 milligrams this patient needs to take. Okay, so we know the correct answer is six, but why is that? Well, we need to know a relationship between grams and milligrams, and that relationship is the following. Okay, so this is really important stuff, uh, particularly uh, in nursing, but we're talking about basic metric system kind of conversion. So one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams, right? You definitely need to know this right here. So one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. So 1.5 grams is equal to 1,500 milligrams. Now, the doctor didn't say, hey, give the patient 1,500 milligrams of medication to make your job easier, right? So you're like, hey, doctor, we only have uh, these tablets that are 250 milligrams. So if the doctor was kind of, you know, being nice, he would say, hey, this patient needs 1,500 milligrams. So, you know, you can obviously do the math pretty easy here because the units of measure are the same. So what we need to do is convert 1.5 grams into milligrams. Of course, that is uh, 1,500. But assuming you understood that conversion, well, then we have the same units of measure. So if the patient needs 1,500 milligrams and you have 250 milligram uh, tablets, 
these units of measure are going to cross cancel and you can just uh, take this 1500 and divide it by 250 of course you get six all right so that is the right answer but really what i want to do here is to make sure you understand uh, how to convert one unit to another right so we're going to talk about something really important here and that is called a conversion factor okay so a conversion factor is something we multiply one unit by to get to another unit. Now, what we wanna do here is figure out how many milligrams of medication the patient needs. So the doctor gave us the medication level in grams. We wanna go from grams to milligrams. And of course, we need to understand that one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. Of course, 1.5 grams is equal to 1500 milligrams but what is the mathematics that is really going on here when we want to convert from grams to milligrams okay so what we need what we need to do is use something called a conversion factor and a conversion factor is effectual, effectively a fraction all right so we want to think of this fraction right here so in one gram, there is 1,000 milligrams, right? So we don't want to write it with an equal sign. We want to write a fraction, right? So there's 1,000 milligrams per one gram, right? So 1,000 milligrams per one gram. Also, you can think of it this way. There's one gram per 1,000 milligrams, right? So uh, both of these uh, fractions or uh, ratios are correct, right? So we need to use one of these conversion factors. So this is a factor, and uh, the word factor means that we're gonna multiply it by something. So if I gave you the number 10 and I said factor 10, well, you might think of the numbers two and five. The numbers two and five are factors of 10. So a conversion factor is a uh, an expression that we're gonna multiply something else by to change the units of measure. Now, this is really important on what I'm going to tell you next. So make sure you pay attention. So there is one in one gram, there's a thousand milligrams, right? And there's a thousand milligrams to one gram. So what we want to do is go from grams to milligrams, right? So we're trying to figure out the medication level in the milligrams, not grams, right? Because our tablets are in milligrams. Okay, so which one of these conversion factors should we multiply 1.5 grams by to get two milligrams, right? So they're both uh, equal, or they're both technically correct, one gram per 1,000 milligrams and 1,000 milligrams per one gram. Well, the correct one that we need to use is this one right here. Now, why is that? Okay, now this is where uh, you really have to pay attention in terms of converting units of measure. So what we wanna do is go from grams and end up in milligrams. So we wanna get rid of grams and be left with milligrams. So right here, when we multiply 1.5 grams times 1,000 milligrams over one gram, what we're really doing is multiplying two fractions. Okay, so we're gonna multiply the respective numerators and denominators. But the main idea here is that the grams are going to cross cancel as units of measure, right? So the grams here will cross, this gram in the uh, numerator will cross cancel with this gram down here in the denominator, leaving us with milligrams, and that's what we want left over. So 1.5 times 1,000 is 1,500 milligrams, right? So this is how uh, you use a conversion factor to go from grams to milligrams, right? So this is really important because when you are converting more uh, challenging units of measure, if you're not thinking in terms of a conversion factor, you will get uh, you will get confused. Now let's suppose you were thinking this way, which is right. In one gram, there's 1,000 milligrams. So if we took our 1.5 grams, matter of fact, let me show you this right here. If I said, okay, I have 1.5 grams, and I know that there is one gram per 1,000 milligrams, everything looks pretty good. This is a correct uh, conversion factor, okay? This is right. However, when we multiply these two numbers, I'm gonna end up with grams times grams or grams squared. 
over milligrams, right? So that's not going to help me out because I want to go from grams to milligrams unless I want this unit of measure, grams squared over milligrams, right? So again, anytime you are converting from one unit to another, you want to think of which unit you want to cross cancel and which unit you want to be left with. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out and you'll definitely see, guaranteed to see a problem like this on the T's exam. Now, again, if you need additional help preparing for all the math that you will see on the T's exam, you definitely need to check out my T's math prep course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your nursing career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.